I am your host, and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all back to the Coins Alert, your home for your cryptocurrency dose. I really hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. On this Tuesday, May 14th, we are halfway through the year, which is almost exactly halfway through. No, everyone is looking forward to Bitcoin making a breakthrough of this sideways accumulation zone, also known as the Chop Chop region, and heading up to the upside as I have been preaching for quite some time. The time has come. The time has come. There is a possibility that it will take place this month or in June, according to my predictions. In the future, my forecast will reveal whether or not I was correct. However, do you know what? There is one thing that we are certain of. And that is that the value of Bitcoins will surpass 100,000 by the time the year 2024 comes to a close. When the year comes to a close, we are aware that the overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is going to reach anywhere between $4.5 trillion and $5 trillion. Also, we are aware that the year 2025 is going to be a very spectacular year for those of us who possess XRP. You have it right. We have a lot to discuss in this episode since there has been a lot of arguing and bickering among members of the XRP community and they have once again pointed fingers. It's clear that you are incorrect. You err in belief. You err in belief. You are completely lackadaisical about the subject at hand. This is complete and utter insanity. That will be discussed. When we get a chance, we will discuss this further. We are going to talk about Coinbase, and it appears that they went down for three hours. I might even consider adding my two cents to the discussion. Where are you, and what are you doing? Central Bank of the Philippines is giving its approval to CoinsDot for the approval of a digital currency issued by the Central Bank. That is incredibly intriguing to say the least. If you were to ask me when Ripple could have an update for you regarding the SEC, I believe that you are going to be pleased with what you are about to hear. Relax and take it easy everyone, jumping into a Bitcoin at $61,641 is a good idea. Over the course of the last 24 hours, it has experienced a decline of 1.66%. Ethereum is expected to arrive at 2902. The decrease is 2.03%. The price of XRP is a mean lean 50 cents, while the price of USDT and USDC is both coming in at 99 cents. What you might not know is that it was actually displaying a tiny bit of life. As it is currently in the green and exhibiting some indicators, which is exciting, it has practically increased by 1%, bringing the total market cap of cryptocurrencies to 2 trillion 288 billion. I will always remember XRP. To put it simply, we are at the very bottom. In this case, we would need to see Bitcoin being destroyed. We would need to see it drop by 20%, similar to a decline of 15%. It is possible that Bitcoin could be the factor that drives XRP down to the middle of the 40s. I simply do not believe that Bitcoin possesses the nuclear power. I have a strong belief that we are currently in the accumulation zone at this point. What a mess we are in right now. In my opinion, the next significant shift that will occur is going to be to the positive side rather than the negative side. Lux lines, non-financial transactions, people, senior citizens, women and men. Just today, as we do every Monday, we released 3V and almost immediately after that, we sold out of Star Wars. At this point in time, that is the new pride tier. You are required to enter if you do not enjoy Star Wars, you should form a mob for yourself. What do you think about a mythical? If you merely want to touch base with the project, obtain a profile head. All of these things earn you XRP back the more you hold, the more you get back. Additionally, we are going to release our first Battle Royale game with a wagering system. This appears to be the last day of the month. 9 out of 15 levels have been done. These individualized personalities are also being conceived and constructed, and you are going to just adore them. The pieces are beginning to fit together. Moreover, we have our very own NFT minting website. They are going to make that available. Each of the packs is open. The people, we have a lot of things in the works. It was released by Cash. If you don't already know who he is, he is the one that designed Xpunks, which was included on the XRP ledger as well. They received a significant amount of funding from Ripple, and he is providing grant programs to help them develop things out. The announcement that they are quitting Ripple and will no longer be giving the money was made. They stated that there is not sufficient. Nothing is happening as a result of this network effect. I suppose that is the correct approach to put it on the XRP ledger where it belongs. Now that they have finished packing, they are going to take the luggage to Solana. Imagine a decentralized ecosystem in Web3 where a woke central authority chooses whether or not you are eligible for a grant depending on whether or not you comply with a code of contact. He thinks this would be exciting. What he is referring to here is Ripple, but he is not discussing the value that you add or the attractiveness that you achieve. 
From the Black Mirror series, what episode is this? We refer to this digital ledger as the XRP ledger. Clearly he is located in this area. Is he going to take shots at the veterinarian? It is a compensated ambassador who is responsible for both good and poor behavior. Who in their right mind would ever want to propose to function in such a woke hella manner? Having returned and chimed in, this is the antithesis of the thesis of Web3 and blockchain. Apparently there is no code of conduct in the crypto industry. Come to your senses. You must not wake up. It should come as no surprise that this is not a decentralized network software. It is possible for hosts to own one. The XRP Ledger Foundation, for instance, has one for their ambassador program, and Ripple has one for their graduates went back and chimed in and said, I really appreciate your participation. I was wondering if you could provide me with a list of companies who have benefited financially from the grant program. The majority of private enterprises are working on that initiative. Therefore, they do not publish any numbers until Ripple is included by their own volition. I can confirm that XRP Cafe if is the case. This is not the case at all. It takes care of all expenses that are not related to work, but it is a significant amount of sweet equity with the plan to accomplish probabilities. It is stated that blockchain technology is slowly but surely making a comeback. If there were, wouldn't they be showcasing their success? Would they not choose those businesses to be ambassadors in order to bring attention to the success and encourage others to participate? So to put it simply, there are a lot of people who are unhappy with Ripple and they are engaged in squabbling. The XRP Ledger Foundation is not something that they are pleased with. They are dissatisfied on account of the money that is being distributed. Blockchains, on the other hand, are claiming that the money that has been distributed, as well as the grants that have been awarded to these initiatives in order to build upon them, have already left, and they are either no longer making any profits or have already packed their bags. There is not a single business that has been awarded a grant and has gone on to achieve success and accomplish a lot of things. I'll give you my opinion on the matter. The projects that Ripple is selecting might not be the best ones. They might be getting ahead of themselves. This is the reason why we are currently seeing a slower approach, which is so that they can observe these projects as they get established. It is possible for them to examine their order records and verify that they are in fact the individuals they claim to be and that they are not only making up figures. That is exactly what they ought to be doing, rather than simply throwing money at people. Because, for example, I have 50,000 people in Discord, but in reality, there are only around 500 people, not even 50 people, and everyone else is a paid bot. There is a lot of evidence of this in the sector where people pay for followers. So it's possible that this is what caused Ripple to run into its problems. Also, I would like to point out that it is possible that Ripple is selecting the appropriate projects due of Lux Lions. The profits that we make are phenomenal. The reasons why we have a good project. Our group is one of the best. We have a legitimate cause for individuals to be in this location. Now, just because Ripple releases a tweet about you or decides to give you $200,000 if you require $200,000, your idea is not going to become lucrative just because Ripple does either of those things. Just to assist you in continuing to establish and expand your business. It is most likely that you are not doing something correctly when you take the initiative to launch a web store, the front of the web. Where do you find the money to make? Let's go back to the basics of business here and talk about marketing, advertising, and word of mouth. Let's stop relying on other people to try to take out enterprises that are actually Web3 projects and make them lucrative. Our businesses are Web3 projects. If you want to get things done, why don't you go out there and start working hard? It is necessary for everyone to begin at the bottom and work their way up to the